Good evening, people. Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. Watch Women 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you a verse of scripture out of Acts 15, 11. And it says, but we believe that through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved, even as they. This is the point in the book of Acts where Peter accepted Paul's um, salvation message, that it is through grace, through believing. This is, a trans this is the transition period in the book of Acts from Peter to Paul. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. That's how we're saved, why we're saved, and how we're kept saved through his death, burial, and resurrection. It is grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are protected by the blood of Jesus. You are rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time, and you're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you, lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, teach you, and change you if you let it. Something's going on right now. Something's going on in Russia with Ukraine, and something is going on with Iran, with Israel. So, Iran reportedly issued a new notum. This just came out not too long ago. Rocket launches. Could it be Israel? The government of Iran has reportedly issued another notice to air missions. That's what NOTAM means. Clearing its airspace on certain dates for rocket launches. I told you a lot was going to happen before Trump gets inaugurated. A whole lot. It says, according to information I received last night, and of course, this is... Coming from uh, Hal Turner, but it's also been reported. I think Greg on New York Prepper reported it as well. According to the information, Iran has ordered the clearing of its airspace beginning November 18th, which is Monday, this coming Monday, and counting through November 20th, which is when, next Wednesday. Excuse me. This is significant for several reasons. It says, first, it is well known that Iran intends to retaliate. Now, remember, they said that they would do something after the election. The election is over. Second, Iran said itself that it would retaliate, that it will retaliate against Israel for what they did a little over two weeks ago. And third, Iran issued a warning to the residents of Haffa and Tel Aviv over this past weekend to leave now, giving them one week, giving them one week to evacuate those cities. While military guys blustered, they were going to remove Israel from the map. So, Psalm 83. It is worthwhile to recap how this attack situated, situation developed. October, April 1st, let's go back, April 1st, Israel strikes the Iranian consulate in Damascus, Syria. Israel has long targeted Iran's military installation in Syria, but this attack marked the first time it targeted the diplomatic compound itself. April 13th. Nearly two weeks after that attack, Iran launched a barrage of missiles and drones targeting Israel. July or April 13th, Iran launches 300 missiles and drones towards Israel. That was the first time that Iran had fired missiles directly into Israeli territory. Now, 
July 31st, assassination of Hanaye. So the Hamas political chief was taken out in Iran's capital of Tehran in the early hours of Wednesday, July 31st. When he was initially thought to be an airstrike, what was initially thought to be an airstrike hit the building in which he was staying. It was later revealed that Israeli Mossad had a bomb planted. So, let's move up. October 2nd, Iran said it fired approximately 180 missiles in response to Israeli assassinations of top Hamas, Hezbollah, and Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps leaders. It claimed it had used hypersonic weapons against Israel for the first time. October 26, Israel attacked Iran again. Israel attacked Iran. Now, as all of the above events are unfolding, were unfolding and it's still unfolding, Russia announced to the world that Russia will not allow its main ally in the Middle East and fellow BRICS member Iran to be defeated and destroyed. This is where this thing is going to get very interesting, and this is where it's going to get interesting before Trump gets inaugurated. Now, Trump met, went to uh, meet today with Biden. There's a live feed on it on Fox. This is going to get very interesting, <laughs> because I, like I've been saying, something is, something is going to happen. They don't want that man to get inaugurated. They don't want him sworn in. So some war, they're going to cause something to happen before all that happens. That's either going to cause something of hmm, maybe martial law. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. So Russia told the U.S. and Israel quietly that it will step in if the West goes too far in the coming regional war. The same day China told the world, if Iran and its allies are attacked by the United States, we will take countermeasures. So you got Russia, China, you got Israel and Iran. The United States has made it clear to everyone it will defend Israel. Remember what I kept saying. Why are they defending Israel? <laughs> well, <laughs> now that Trump has been elected, that's why, right there. They have to cause chaos in this nation before he gets inaugurated in order to cause um, uh, some kind of wide-scale something. And that's what's happening right now, or is going to happen Given what we know now that Iran has issued another notum for November 18th, 19th, and 20th, which is next week, prudence dictates that all of us be prepped for unforeseen consequences. The only thing you need to worry about is being saved. Now, I don't know how far this is going to go. They're already... They already put this stuff in the news about cutting cables and all this other stuff. Now, let me give you something else that he has on here that's quite interesting. So, Maria Zakharova, the spokesperson for Russia, is something is brewing because she is coming out with language that you don't talk about as a spokesperson. I'm sorry. So she said that something, she said something blunt and very unusual this morning, it says Moscow will regard the permission for Kiev to strike deep into Russian Federation as the entry of NATO countries into a direct armed conflict. She went on to say, the response will be imminent and devastating to the West.
Why would she even say that? That's not her position to say. So most people are under the impression that the use of Ukraine and Western supply, uh, supply long-range missiles to strike deep in Russia were already decided off the table. No, they haven't. Putin long ago made clear Western long-range missiles need to be actively guided to target by satellites. Satellites. Ukraine has no satellites. In order for such missiles to be launched by Ukraine, those missiles must be actively guided to target by U.S., European Union, NATO satellites. As such, the active guidance of those missiles by Western satellites makes the West an active combatant against Russia. You see where this thing is going? For which Russia would strike back. This country is in grave danger. That's why I don't know. I don't have a good feeling about this inauguration. So since then, the whole idea of Ukraine using Western supplied long range missiles deep into Russia seems to have been off the table until now. So what does Russia know that they aren't saying just yet? Has the policy of refusing Ukraine permission changed? Has permission been given to Ukraine? This is one update that I do want to see today. But either way you slice it, something is brewing abroad. So I'm going to link this in the description box. I will be back later. I have to go to my second home, which is the store. So, but anyway, I will be back. I will keep track of this. Anything happen, I will let you know. <laughs>